here are the components a gyroscope connected to a microcontroller in this case an Arduino and the micro servo I really wanted to see what uh, what is possible especially with the servo servos in this gyroscope so I connected an axis to the servo so the servo moves accordingly it could use some softening of the values because they're quite erratic but I think this could work basically this is yeah it's noising itself up that's cute this is just a test so I'm, I'm also gluing a, a little gimbal type thing here holder which I'll be putting on the servo and uh, of course gotta have gotta have two servos for uh, proper gimbal control so I think it's gonna be a nice little project here's the next improvement I've added uh, some filtering to the algorithm I'll show you the values actually the values uh, are now um, not directly calculated but uh, are have a bit of a a bit of a smoothness factor so this is obviously uh, takes care of the noise quite a lot and now you see it still moves but it's not as fast this is just a simple uh, noise removal uh, algorithm I added it's great for noise but obviously has some lag issues so this is just the first step I still think uh, I'll be able to make the full gimbal work I just wonder if the motors will be strong enough to hold um, the camera I'm not sure about the camera yet, it might be a smartphone or maybe a sports camera type thing so I'll just make some uh, generic holder and and try with the camera when I get it here I added a quick power requirement check it's 40 milliamps when it's not moving and when shaking vigorously it gets up to 240 milliamps looking at this power consumption I've decided I just use a power bank to power this thing for testing and I'll exchange the Arduino Uno with something smaller where's my Arduino collection there we go I have quite some <laughs> So this is it. Maybe something with a, a nice uh, USB connector for quick programming or not even necessary. Just use something even smaller without a USB connector. And I can just program it over serial, no props. I also have some ESPs here yeah I think I can fit some I can fit a servo and I2C connect the the gyroscope but um, the, the ESP draws quite a bit more power and uh, doesn't really benefit me anything beside Wi-Fi access which is not necessary in this project for the software part I'm using the Arduino IDE here I've added uh, a library I found which supposedly supports this gyroscope it's the MPU 6050 I have 6500 I guess uh, but the library uh, supports supposedly all of them and the problem I had, it wouldn't uh, find it. 
So that was probably I thought that was probably because of the different address, and I was right. The MPU 9250 uh, uses a different I2C address. So I just went into the, into the source files where I found the address and changed it. And lo and behold, the thing started working. It's quite strange that you would hard code the address, but you know. Whatever, <laughs> Arduino, what you gonna do? So basically I clamp, clamped this together in a couple of minutes and uh, added some uh, filtering. And this, I think this is a nice start and uh, all of the challenges are going to be in the code for this build, I think. So, or the servers, uh, I hope they will be strong enough. So the thing that remains is building the the mount, putting something quite heavy on it and uh, trying out the the responsiveness and uh, the capabilities of the servos.